We have just learned two people were killed in a house fire this morning in Catonsville. You are taking a live look at the scene right now along Denbright Road from Chopper 13. Hello, everyone. I'm Nicole Baker. We are learning that a firefighter also suffered some minor injuries while battling this fire. WJZ Live at Noon. Annie Rose Ramos is on the scene for us with the breaking details about what happened here. Annie Rose. Nicole, this is the home that went up in flames at 7 a.m. this morning. We also understand neighbors tell us that a woman in her 90s has lived here for decades. Up until a few moments ago, she was in critical condition. And we also understand that she lived here with her son who cared for her. He is still unaccounted for, Nicole. But we know that from neighbors that he rarely left his mother's side. This is 1325 Denbright Road going up in flames Friday morning. This video taken by neighbors. It was just completely ablaze and I couldn't really believe what I was seeing. Neighbors in the neighborhood called 911 reporting the house behind me here on fire. Jessica Bias saw the flames coming from next door and ran outside. And I came out thinking um, that, you know, checking on the neighbor. I looked out and that's when I saw the flames coming from the basement. Moments later, firefighters were on the scene. Uh, upon their arrival, we had heavy fire conditions coming out of the front of the home as well as the basement. And the fire was quickly classified as a two alarm fire, drawing over 75 firefighters here to the scene. One firefighter sustained minor injuries trying to get into the house. He was treated here on the scene by EMS. But the Baez family grew more and more worried about their neighbors they feared were inside. Uh, our friend Pat, which which is uh, she's 90 years old or something like that, and her son Tim, and uh, he watches watches over her. They're like family. I've known them since I moved in this house 18 years ago. Fire officials say they have rescued one elderly woman from the home. We have at least one critically injured elderly female. And Nicole. To confirm, fire department here in the county has confirmed that, that tragically two lives were lost here at this home in this early morning fire. They say that this is a reminder as we head into the winter that it's so important to have working smoke and fire detectors in your home. We will be covering this story throughout the day. So stick with WJZ live in Catonsville. I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.